someone much closer. Is it that obvious? Of course. There's nothing escaping the powers of observation. This place is protected. Must be the refuge the Harpers spoke of. You there! Step forward and keep your hands off your weapons. Easy! He's with me. Come. Jahira! Hello. You're about to. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... ...it's that it knows its own kind. You should never have come here, true soul. Stop! Hold on, Jahira. I think I know this one. His eyes meet yours. There's no recognition there. Just a sick intensity as his voice reverberates in your mind. If you want to survive this, then trust me. One true soul to another. He's infected. I. But he's not with the cultists. They helped me fight them off a while back, in fact. Is this true? If the true soul wants to help, so be it. We're in no state to refuse. How is that possible? What in the hell is that thing? Congratulations! You've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt. Hear me, Harpers! All clear! At ease! I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is. But I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Tell me... Why have you come here? Then our interests align. We must all cure ourselves of the entire cult of the Absolute. There's food in the inn over there. Beds too, if you require rest. Aloe oil in the cupboard, in case the vines gave you a rash. Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. 
blood this is heavy. It's for a good cause. Whatever I expected to find lurking in this cursed gloom. Right. Oh my god, soldier. That's Jahira. The Jahira. Not personally. I mean, I wish. She's an absolute legend. Years ago, over a century, Jahira was part of a group that saved Baldur's Gate from Saravok, a vile sport trying to plunge the city into war. My mum used to tell us stories about them. The legends who protected the city from evil. She said Jahira was a powerful druid. Adamant. Tough. I've told myself those stories a thousand times since. I never thought I'd meet Jahira. She's a hero, and I was always... some outer city kid. Can't believe she wants to talk to us about working together. What a day! Yeah. There's more with The Shadow Curse. It doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. She loves me. She must do. Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. This isn't the first sign we've come across of a Sharon presence. I'm not sure I can keep ignoring them. Have you ever heard of the Dark Justicias? They were Lady Shah's most elite warriors. I can't explain why, but something about this reminds me of them. I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah, a temple perhaps. I need to know if there's more to this. Blood, this is heavy. It's for a good cause. Wonder far. We need to talk. Please be welcome. Have a drink. To your very good health. a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. It doesn't spoil the taste, if that's what you're wondering. Indulge me. Bottoms up. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something alien. Answer me true, and do not lie. The parasite is changing you. Isn't it? Good. 
will take your word for it. And hold you to it, too. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. General Cadric Thorm. Remember that name. He's the leader of the Absolutists. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Cadric Thorm live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here, commanding an army of the Absolute intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself, only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless. But experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at moonrise. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. Isabel's in her room upstairs. She'll be expecting you. Come on, let's go! Isabel's in her room upstairs. She'll be expecting you. Old friend, very good to see you again. Clever Rouge showing off your little artifact. Jahira was all too eager to believe you.
lying. The soldier tries to force his way into your mind, searching for answers. searching for. You're not one of us. You're an abomination. Another parasite. Collect it. It might be useful. Forces upon dark forces, so it seems. You're the true soul from the gate, right? It's a good thing you were here. I'm Isabel, and we have much to discuss. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Speaking of blessings, you'll be needing my protection spell. <laughs> it hurts. Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker, stronger. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The Harpers are trying to figure it out. Salunite magic. Dark lady, forgive me. Good nose. Like a nasty little terrier. Ketherick is a frightening man, but you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. While you're busy in the towers, I'll keep the people here safe. If you find a way in, we'll come to your aid. Until then, go well. Be safe. And if you should meet Ketherick Thorm, be careful. Unless you want to come back to a gaggle of shadow-cursed harpers. Go on, then. I could say the same. But perhaps we should save the trivia, till we're on the other side of this thing. Promise not to die. And we'll celebrate with our life stories. It belongs to Shah. All the more surprising you're interested in lifting it. According to the Harpers, it fell here when they defeated, oh, thought they defeated, one of her disciples, Ketherick Thorm. It's incredibly powerful. We'll have our work cut out for us trying to shift the thing. But I believe we. You can do it. Right place, right time. When a cleric of Saluna stumbles into a Sharon shadow, 
She's bound to set it to rights, at any cost. There's little I can say to you, I'm afraid. At least things have stayed interesting. Mug of ale, 4 CP, chopped cheek, 3 SP, daily special, inquire. The shadows haven't consumed you. Good. Then speak. Ugh. Some crusty ballad monger, I expect. They have me slaying gods, or laying with them, depending on the bard. You'll have to sing that one for me when all of this is done. In any case, it was a lifetime ago by now. And for all our victories, we remain on the back foot. We fight, we die, and we just hope that when our time comes, there is someone else to take our place. <laughs> no need of that. Every harper is a bard unto themselves, I'm afraid. Help me root out this cult, and they can spin stories about you for a change. Let's go in.
The shadows haven't consumed you. Good. advertisement, its message still faintly legible. Fresh veg and fancy fruit. Buy two, get one free. Why would anyone keep such neurotic creatures as pets?
Is that blood? No, never mind. Only a few words are still legible. Beef pie, lamb stew, and chicken soup. Like that odd ox made it through the shadows. There's an invitation behind its great brown eyes. That's close enough. Artifact or no, I don't like the likes of you crashing our party. Give it a rest, Alfred. We need all the God's damned help we can get. Rescue party. Not that you'll give a triple shat damn, but we were ambushed by them bloody cultists. Bastards torched the pigsty we were staying in, and made off with the Grand Duke of Baldur's Gate himself. See? Help needed, help offered. Yeah, I'm touched. If you're serious, go talk to his aide, Floric. She's inside, strategizing. Guess you need to be a God's damned counselor to get room and board around here. Someone's been skimming our supplies. Find out who it is and bring them to me. Yes, sir. 
Her focus is on stopping the cult, and I suspect she'd sacrifice anyone to achieve that. Daylight's doing her best, but it shows no signs of winning. He still won't speak, just keeps going with the bloody song. Nothing of use on his person. His original writ of duty, signed by Eltan himself. Fella must be one of the very first flaming fist. He must know something. Let's not give up on him yet. We believe the cultists have taken Duke Ravenguard to Moonrise Towers. I don't suppose you've found a way in. Merciful Timora. That's the first piece of good news I've heard since Elturel. But I'm not pinning all my hopes on you. I trust you will do everything you can to free the Duke. But in case you don't find a way, I'll be heading to Baldur's Gate to seek reinforcements. The Council sent a carrier pigeon with news that the city has been dealing with absolutist attacks. The Steel Watch is holding strong. I'll request that Lord Gortash send some of them to aid in the fight against Moonrise. The curse won't harm them. Holy shit. That's my old boss. The guy who sold me to Zariel. You know the name Gortash. A counselor with considerable influence on Baldurian industry and politics. But he is no lord. Lord Gortash is the man responsible for the creation of the Steel Watch. It's no wonder he earned the title. The Steel Watch are the future of warfare. Gondian automatons that can be sent into battle without risking any lives, except those of our enemies. Lord Gortash had only completed work on the prototypes before Ravenguard and I left for Elturel, but even they were formidable. With the Steel Watch at our backs, we can storm the tower whatever Ketherick throws at us, I'm sure of it. I'll do my best, but there's every chance I'll fall to the curse or the cult before I reach the city. Don't count on me and assume no aid is coming. Work with Jahira. That harper's mind is as sharp as her blade. Follow her guidance. Farewell. We'll meet again, God's willing. So Gortash is a lord now. I'd like to clap eyes on this steel watch of his. You already know the story. I was Gortash's bodyguard, loyal as they come, when he made the deal with Zariel. She got a test subject for her infernal engine. I never found out what he got. This is the kind of man who gets a title. Authority makes me sick. Oh, the city. Baldur's Gate, home. I can almost taste it, you know. Not even Gortash can spoil that. Jahira seems sure of you. I hope she's right. This barricade might keep the shadows out, but it won't help against what's already inside. I think it's staring out into the dark so much as doing something to my eyes. Uh, oh, pretty, but it can take a bit. Magic won't hold out the darkness forever. <laughs> 